Hi guys, today we're going to swatch the Divina Cosmetics Matte Shadows. They are releasing February 10th. You can save 20% with code BEAUTYGOLD. It is an affiliate code, so we do get a small percentage. The packaging of these is a black case envelope with a window, and it has pink lettering, and it is cruelty-free, as you can tell. They're also handmade in Los Angeles. First, we're going to do Sepia. It's a mid-tone gray. As you can see, we are swatching with a brush on a non-primed hand. Um, the camera was a little bit not collaborating with me, so it's focusing a little bit, but as you can tell, it is a mid-tone gray and very cool toned. I think it also reminds me of Fluff from Colourpop, the lipstick. It's a very similar shade. This one is called Gaia. I hope that I'm pronouncing these names right, by the way. But anyway, this one is a lighter shade than um, Sepia. And we're going to swatch it. It has a little bit of a pickup when you apply the brush onto the pan. So yeah, it is a little bit more powdery than the one before. Make sure you use a primer on these, okay, when you try using these on your eyes. We're gonna swatch Desma now. This is a very dark plum shade. Reminds me of Mag Shadowy Lady. Shades like this you can use to make a smoky eye if you don't want to use a black shade. And I like it that this plum is very um, pigmented and smooth, as you can see when you apply it. A lot of plums, shadows, usually have a patchiness to them, but this one seems pretty easy to apply. You should still use primers when you apply um, matte shadows, though, so try to take that into consideration. The shade is called Nemesis. I love the name. However, when I swatched it, it was a tad patchy. It is warmer toned, it has more brown in it, but it's still a plum. Alright, this shade is called Lucretia, and it is a terracotta shade. Um, if you don't know what terracotta is, think orange, red, clay. Exactly, that's the shade that this pan comes out to be. This shade is called Elithia. On the pan, it looks like it's going to be a salmon, but it's not. It is a red-toned orange shade. And what I mean by that is that it has more red in it, and it's still very muted. So it's not exactly a bright red. This shade is called Sura, and it looks like a creamy mandarin on pan, but once you swatch it, you can tell that it's an actual bright orange shade. It is similar to Max Orange Shadow. If you remember that shade, I don't know if it's still available, but anyway, um, this is definitely a bright orange shade. This color is called Crixis and it's a very nice ochre and it's the first time I've seen this shade, maybe on my stash, so I definitely don't have a dupe for this. This type of shade is great as a transition for greens and browns. Also, you can call this shade khaki. It sounds funny, but it is an actual name of a color. This shade is called Courtney and is a bright mustard. This shade is called Naevia and it is very bright in the pan, but once you apply it, it actually is a muted sepia. Reminds me a lot of Nars Persia.
And this is it guys, this is all the shades that are releasing from Divina Cosmetics on February 10th at 9am Pacific Standard Time. You can save 20% with the affiliate code BEAUTYCULT. If you want to watch any other videos of this type, um, swatching, etc., um, subscribe to our channel. We're going to have a few more of these coming through soon enough. Thank you and thanks for watching. Hi guys. Hi guys, it's, it's me. me, and I've heard this 12 times today. <laughs> so as you can see, the shade applies pretty smooth. I'm going to kill him. He's doing the shade on purpose. 